These are in no particular order. The first one on my list is the two of you do not have a shared vision on what you want your life to be like together. So the vision does not match. Let's say you want to be married and he doesn't want to get married. He could be a good guy, but if he doesn't want to get married, he can't be the guy for you. He just can't be the guy for you. Uh, let's say that you want to live outside of the country full time. Do you want to never see each other? <laughs> Do you want to be with a partner that you see only on holidays? To me, that doesn't really sound like partnership. I know that people live by coastal, but they usually spend a lot more time together, months at a time together. What if you want kids and he doesn't want kids? He could be a good person, right? Has a good heart, wonderful, giving. But if he doesn't want kids and you want kids, I, I promise you, you're going to be miserable in life because you're going to feel like you're giving up a, a big part of who you want to be. Like motherhood is an identity. Like don't get attached to motherhood. But becoming a mother is a, a goal for a lot of women. And if you are with someone who does not want parenthood, then it's time to say bye. It, it is time to say bye. And you can find a better match for you and he can find a better match for him. Number two on my list is trauma preventing him from accepting the love that you have to give. Don't get me wrong. I know that we all come with our own baggage and I think we can learn immensely more in a relationship than by ourselves, right? Relationships are for the evolution of your soul. I say it all the time. However, you cannot fix a man. I do not encourage anyone to build a man. I, I do not encourage anyone to date potential. And so he could be a good person, but if he has all of this trauma, these you know emotionally charged experiences, and even when you do something kind for him, he's like upset about it or can't receive it or makes it uh, very difficult for you to be kind and loving and feminine to him, it's, it's time to move on, right? And this can be a man who has a nice car, has a house or two, right? You know, has a, a great job, loves what he does. But if in relationship, in a romantic relationship, he cannot open himself up to receive from you that you have loving kindness to give, move on. If someone is not open to healing, then you really can't force your love on anyone. They have to be open to receiving it. Okay, my number three is he is stagnant in life and wants to live in a box and you have big goals, big dreams, big things that go on, okay? Uh, I say stagnant in life, meaning comfortable. He likes where his life is at. You know, he works his nine to five, nothing against nine to five. Don't call me B. Simone, nothing against nine to five. He, you know, you know enjoys his job, um, but he's not really interested in, in moving up, right? Let's say he's not very ambitious. He likes where he's at in life. He, you know, he has a house, right? These are all baseline things to me. Baseline. Every man, if we're dating in our thirties, come on, every man should have like certain baseline things, a career, a home. If that's like one of his goals, my goal is not really to own a home, a car, right? Freedom, independence, right? He's coming with like these baseline things. Okay. Uh, but let's say he's really comfortable at his job. He's not really interested in moving up. Uh, and nothing is wrong with that, right? That could be a good fit for someone. He's a good guy. He's a decent man. But you, honey child, mm, you want to conquer the world. You want to do big things. And it would be fine if he supported you in doing that and was fine with himself. But let's say that he wants to live in the box. And why do you want to disrupt our life? And we're comfortable the way we are. Why do you want more? Why do you want more is the question he's asking you. So he could be living an okay life, a decent life, but he, he likes where it is. And he doesn't really want to change anything about it. Whereas you want more, you want to explore, you want to live outside of the box. You want to create your own rules, your own lane. You, see, you already see from how I'm saying it, like, this is just not a good match. If you can be happy for where he is and he can be happy for where you are and as you all are in different places, I, I don't really see how that would work. But if you all can, you know, have this acceptance that you all are in different places and you sort of live two different lifestyles or two different lives, hey, have it make it work but i think this kind of scenario is another one that breeds resentment you all are going to keep missing each other right you want to go to south africa for two months and he's like why don't we just go you know for a weekend getaway an hour an hour away you know you you, you all just are not seeing eye to eye 
on the grandness that you can have in your life, right? Maybe you want to be a millionaire. You cannot be with someone who isn't thinking millionaire status. It's just not going to work long term. You can be a good guy, right? A good person, honest, you know, you know, hardworking. But you need more than that. You need more than that. Oh, and I didn't introduce myself. I am Dr. Sharice. I help men and women heal from trauma and toxic relationships. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody you think it may help. And if you can think of another reason, right, that it is appropriate, well-timed to break up with a good black man let me know in the comments and moving on to our number four it is he lacks emotional intelligence uh so similar to the one before but this one is causing a lot of communication difficulties uh silent treatment is a toxic trait and i know a lot of people who use the silent treatment when they're communicating um, not opening up about your feelings is going to cause a lot of relationship problems. And so ignoring problems, trying to um, run away when it's time to discuss a difficult problem because relationships can be challenging at times. And you all are two different people. You're not going to see things eye to eye all the time. Can you all use communication skills, right? Healthy communication skills to work out a, a challenge, a problem, because it's really the two of you against the problem. A lot of men are not taught emotional intelligence. And so I always say that women generally are the ones who are much more emotionally versed and will have to do some type of labor in romantic relationships. But there's a there's a limit is a limit and i think the older that you get the lower your threshold should be for what you accept and how much labor you do because men as they get older they have more opportunities to learn these communication skills and learn how to be emotionally intelligent learn how to label their feelings and express them in a healthy way it's really not your job to do that uh, I think it's helpful in a relationship to, you know, give advice and help a person, encourage them to be their best selves, but you can't fix them. You, you just can't. And you can be a good person, but for a long-term romantic relationship to work, long-term, you need someone who is open to learning or can communicate their feelings in an effective way so that two of you can become closer over time. And my number five is he's too nice, right? Nice guys finish last. That's the saying for a reason. I mean, nice girls finish last too. But nice guys finish last because they're people pleasers. They have poor boundaries, right? So, so think about he's a, he's a decent guy, independent, you know, maybe has finances, but finances and a lot of finances, right? So he's living financially abundant. Uh, he has a good heart but he has some experience in the past that has led him to having really poor boundaries with other people's and this can be really evident in family relationships uh close friends and definitely in romantic relationships so you can assess from his previous romantic relationships was he taking advantage of right is this the person who gives and gives and gives and leaves little for himself or the people closest to him. You don't want somebody who's willing to, you know, give to that person over there when, hey, don't, you love me, right? You, I don't want to of those people, but you're giving, giving, giving. These sorts of men may be mama's boys um, or close to, right? Because I, I think a mama's boy is an extreme. But, but think about uh, a man who can be manipulated, right? And it just depends on the people in his life and you may not notice it right away. It may take time for you to realize. But I, I, I just think if he's not going to get a handle on setting appropriate boundaries with other people, all this goodness that's inside of himself is going to be squandered. It's going to leave you uncovered in the long term because it's a, it's a really bad habit that just breeds conflict in the long term because the only thing that can break your relationship is from the inside, right? But if you're inviting all these people to take 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 from your partner it just leads to lots of problems so let me know if you have another reason in the comments that you think is super appropriate to break up with or reject a good black man <laughs> remember to like share subscribe and thank you for watching